Hello everybody, how is it going? Today I want to show you a very nice route for easy rubles farming. So if you just started out with the game or if you are on the budget, then I want to show you a very nice path about uh, around customs, which avoids most of the firefights and gets you to two very nice loot spots, which gives you a lot of rubles that you can then invest into leveling your traders and buying new stuff. Now my character loadout for this run is very, very simple. I try to be as um, you know as uh, much on the budget as possible. I was buying a pistol here I'm running the TT. You can get that from level 1 prepper. I'm running um, a very nice backpack here and I'm I'm having the customs map. So the customs map is kind of crucial but you only need to buy it once and then you put it in your secure container and you have it. So let me quickly show you where I get the stuff from. The map you can get from therapist. It's 14,000 rubles. Again it's a little bit of an investment but you, you just get it once and it's kind of crucial for the run because you want to choose your starting point. You could of course just drop randomly but it's really nice to start at boiler tanks and I'm going to show you why. Again the backpack is available uh, at Skier here costs us uh, 3200 and the pistol you can get from Pavel here from proper. Uh, it's uh, down, uh, wait, down here. Uh, it costs us 7000 rubles. So our initial investment is about 10,000. 24,000 if you calculate the map into that. But again, it's uh, quite nice to have. And what you want to do is you want to go to um, the customs. You want to select uh, daytime probably and then start at the boiler tanks. And the reason why, I'm going to show you in game. All right, here we go and we have the perfect spawn. So what we want to do is we want to get to this jacket here and we want to get the key 114. I already got it. It's a little bit of a risky move because you're putting your back against the, the spawn of a lot of players here. And okay, this time it didn't spawn, but 90% of the time it does. Now, again, this is a speed run. We want to be super fast at our high value points and therefore I'm running straight away. And again, regarding that key, it would be nice, or it would be probably clever, um, doing a hatchet run without anything, getting that key, putting it into your secure container so that you have it for the next runs. There's a lot of shooting beyond the wall already. Now our first, or actually second, mission objective here is the fuel station. The fuel station has three cash registers, which is actually pretty valuable. If you loot all three of them, you get between 15 and 20 grand. And that is more than your starting equipment uh, costs already. So that's, uh, that's a very nice start here. I want to go close the door so that I can hear uh, people that are coming in behind me. So let's quickly open that. Uh, shots outside. We got 4,000 rubles, another 2,000. That's already six. That also already makes up for our gun almost. Almost. Another 4k, 3k. Okay, this is on the right side. That's not good, because this is my escape path. We probably have to fight our way out of this. But again, we have now 20,000 rubles. We got more money already than we invested into the run. Okay, let me quickly check that. Nothing here, all right, then we run. We want to be at point number two uh, in, uh, like, Godspeed. That is... Um, and it's very important because we want to go for the dorms now and the key that we just looted or that we potentially would have looted um, it opens up a door with a safe a medical supply kit and a computer in there and electronics are really high value targets if you if you are running and, and find random loot then don't go for the the duct tape the cigarette packs matches and all of that go for the electronics they are very valuable there's another loot bag down here you can take that. Sometimes there is something good in here. Most of the time it's not. Um, well, okay, we take this. Kind of have enough healing here. But yeah, sometimes I, I find like figurines, um, which are high value, high value items. Uh, but this time not. Okay, we take the first building. We go to the second floor on this staircase on the right side. Open up the door. Come on. And then we we are super quick about it. So hopefully nobody else has been here. Left side clear, right side clear. So that looks good. If you're wondering what 114 is, uh, it's this room here. This is a barred room. We just quickly open it up. And here we got the safe. So this is the first target you should go for. Because again, there is a lot of money in it. And money really stacks nicely into your secure container. We got dollars, we got euros, we got rubles. We got more dollars, so that's quite nice. 
After that, the computer, because again, valuable parts in here. Let's see what we find. HDD, more HDD. Wow. Okay. And then this uh, medical box here. And after that, basically, we are ready to go already. So, bandages. I think I'm gonna take one. One never knows. Maybe I'm gonna use it later. Okay, nobody here. And that's basically it. I'm, I wanna quickly show you something else before we leave here. Um, it's always good. Let's check this, okay. Um, to check this room here on the far left when you come up the staircase again, because this room has a double file cabinet. You can find keys in here, and keys are really nice, you know, for opening up rooms uh, that contain more valuable loot. So make sure you check this every once in a while. There are not many people going here, so you should be relatively safe. Okay, nothing here today. Ah, okay, anyway. Let's get out of here. I'm gonna show you the escape path now. Really hope nobody see. Oh my god, the lag. I hear nothing. So let's go. I want to hug the right wall mostly because the left side it is a high traffic area because there is high value loot in there and I do not want to cross anybody's path right now. So I want to make it to the exit safe and uh, bring all the stuff that I put in my backpack. And this is, by the way, what the backpack is for. Sometimes you will find valuable loot. Mm, this time not so much. Um, but it's it's a nice to have. It's nice to have something that you can um, put your stuff into when you're going on a raid like this. Uh, we come across one of those campsites again. Uh, there's a green box which you can loot where there's, where there's uh, military, military grade loot in there. So let me quickly check that out. Nothing. Uh, okay, we take this. Mm. Alright, never mind. So our random loot is uh, pretty bad today. And then again, we, we keep hugging the right wall here. And we go into this container area. Uh, this, by the way, is a scaff spawn point. So be a little bit careful when you are approaching this here. Could be that there are scaffs standing right here. There's a lot of shooting on the left side. And on this little shed there. Not entirely sure if there are players around. In this little shed there is another cash register. Are those snipers? Sometimes those, those high ground areas are filled with snipers. We just wanna screw the people's days here. Okay, let's try. Let's do some more risk here. I'm not entirely sure if I should do it though. Okay, we run, 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 run. Okay, I believe we made it. We open this up. Come on. And again, there is another cash register right here. So this is more rubles for our safe container. Okay, we got 25,000 now. We got 28,000 now. Some euros, some dollars. And we take the safe exit out in the back. Okay, um, we probably want to go to the roadblock. Yeah, roadblock is uh, our one of our extraction points right now. And I want to take it, um, or I want to go through the safe place here. So if you just go through the bushes, you will find a little gap in the wall here. This is another sniper spot where people are actually scoping that uh, land bridge here and uh, want to shoot people when they are trying to cross. So they could be that they are, oh, that's a scaff. Could be that there are people here. Okay, do I want to mess with the scaff? And this is, by the way, what my pistol is for. Just eliminating scaffs from distance. Yeah, he went through this uh, breach in the wall here, on the left side. Where is he? Okay, I don't want to mess with him. I just want to go to the extraction point. Could be another scaff around, like here. All right, so again, this is the roadblock. Just uh, look out for the big tank. There's nobody here. Nobody here. Hopefully. We check this land bridge. Nobody there, okay. Then we take the loot container because more loot is always good. And after that, we are going to extract. 
uh, magazines. I don't need that. Okay, anyway. So, this is the loot run. This is the loot run I wanted to show you. Again, it's pretty quick. Uh, you get a lot of rubles and raw money. Sometimes you get some valuables as well. And uh, I didn't fire a single shot here. So, you can avoid all the fights if you're just fast enough and be in the spots as the first one. And then you just grab everything, put it into your secure container, and then you run. This is a way how to easily make money and reliable money if you are on a budget again, if you are a new player who really needs something going. And um, the first thing is to, again, get that 114 key and then go into the dorms or first go into the uh, fuel station then go into the dorms and then get the hell out of there i hope you enjoyed this little tutorial and if you did don't forget to leave a rating or subscribe to the channel if you haven't already i'm going to do more escape from tarkov tutorials like this in the future and yeah please let me know in the comments below um, if that's too long if that's too short because that's my first tarkov tutorial here and again if you enjoyed it just hit that like button and i hope to see you next time goodbye